guys, how is it going? And welcome back. I know it's been a while since I really posted anything, but I've been sick for about a week or so. I had a really bad cough and everything, and it's like a stomach bug. <coughs> As you can hear, I'm still kind of coughing, but I finally feel up to well enough to really start to upload again, so I'm back with it. Um, I got a Star Wars glitch going on. That update, I had to reinstall the game. It was really annoying, but anyway, let's move on. We are here today with Justice League. And the movie that was supposed to be a huge blockbuster smash uh, on par with the MCU's Avengers, um, at least that was, the, that was the hope and the goal for uh, Fox and DC and everyone who was involved in the movie. But... There were issues. Um, character casting was pretty good. Um, there wasn't any real issues there with the character casting. Uh, I think uh, Ray Fisher and uh, Ezra Miller were both great cast moves for Flash and Cyborg, respectively. Uh, Gal Gadot was fine as Wonder Woman. She was good. Uh, ben Affleck as Batman was fine. Uh, Henry Duvall as uh, Superman was fine. Uh, and... Uh, What's his face from Stargate Atlantis? Uh, Armoa, whatever the fuck his name is, it was he was a good fit for Aquaman. I thought he was good, um, but anyway, so the casting was pretty spot on. Uh, they they did a pretty damn good job, but I had couple issues with the movie. Um, first, um, <coughs> beside it was it was really choppy. The movie itself was choppy. It was cut down in final edits from 2 hours and 45 minutes to an hour 59, I believe, was the exact final count. <coughs> anyway, this caused the movie, at least in my opinion, to have a bunch of rough patches where the fight scene at the end, yeah, was great and all the action was good, but the beginning stories, how the team came together and everything, there was so much that was cut out. Like, it went from... Cyborg to the Flash to uh, to Aquaman like bang 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 and you you could just tell there was shit missing. <clears throat> I mean, we we hardly had any background on Aquaman. Um, the Flash background was the basic Flash background that followed the TV show. His dad's in prison, uh, except in this case he's unlike in the show on or that they have on whatever uh, CW where he is a genius working for crime labs. He this is almost like a f before sort of thing, where now he is working dead-end jobs and then he gets into, at the end, spoilers, if you haven't seen it yet, sorry, uh, he gets into the criminal whatever program or degrees, whatever. Anyway, there was also no real background on the thing with Victor Stone, uh, Cyborg's real name. Uh, a bunch of stuff in the trailers that was in there, that was another thing I didn't like. A bunch of the stuff that was in the trailers that made this movie look really, really appealing were cut out in the final edits. And that was really disappointing to me. There were some scenes there, especially in the trailers, that I thought would be vital to the success of the movie, and they just weren't there. <coughs> so, I don't remember the top, the exact numbers off the top of my head for Justice League, the box office this weekend. I know it was much less than expected. Um... They really came up short from what they were looking for. Um, but then again, this is DC, so this is the DCU, so th there'll be another one. So hopefully that'll be better. But anyway, yeah, they came up short in the box office, and I'm not really too surprised why. The reviews overall weren't great. Uh, the action scenes were top-notch, just like the MCU. Marvel and DC have really figured out how to really nail those action scenes in movies, especially in, like the comic universes, they've really figured that out, and it, the action scenes were spectacular. They were a lot of fun, interesting to watch, visually appealing. So, those were good. Like, the whole fight scene was pretty good. It could have been a bit more drawn out and a bit more dramatic. Uh, well, no, it was pretty dramatic, but... <coughs> it could have been a bit more drawn out, but... Otherwise, it was, it was very, very good, and very appealing. Um... But yeah, there most of my issues with the, this movie were the fact that the time that 46 minutes of time that they cut out, I think needed to be in the movie. 
I know most people who watched Justice League would have had no issue sitting there for an extra 45 minutes to watch the movie. Uh, I don't know the exact reason why they cut it down. I think it was something to do with the American Movie Association or something. I don't know exactly off the top of my head. But I know I would have loved to have stayed for another 45 minutes for another 45 minutes of movie. And I know most people who saw it, I think it would have helped a lot. That 45 minutes could easily be used to provide this proper background for Cyborg, Vincent Stone, yeah, Aquaman, and the whole thing in Atlantis. Um, there was a brief thing in the movie if you saw that, um, how in the time of it when Steppenwolf came the first time to Earth, uh, the Amazons, and the Atlanteans, and the and men all joined together to fight. <coughs> now, this came out of absolutely nowhere. I mean, <coughs> at least for me in the movies, I have, I have never read the comics before. I'm not much of a comic book person. So, I don't know if that's in the comics or not. But anyway, for me at least, it came out, it was a blind side out of nowhere. And they never really went in to explain for the most part, I mean, why if the Atlanteans were all of a sudden forced under the sea. Um, uh, I know the Amazons moving to an island they can never leave is more for their immortality than anything else at this point, I think. Not really sure, but for some reason they can't leave, and I don't really know why, but I would love to know in more detail. I thought that could have been explained in those 46 minutes. Uh, the Flash could have been a bit more detailed. And exact. I mean, we all know how he got his powers, but it would have been nice to see kind of a bit of an explanation from it. Um, I do not know where... Uh, I mean, Superman coming back was... I mean, obviously predicted and everything, but <coughs> they didn't really go into it. I mean, <coughs> the whole scene where they use the box's power and its life energy to restore Superman, they don't ever explain what the fuck that water chamber is. Why the fuck does sitting in special water revive a dead Kryptonian? Okay, I'm sure it was explained at some point and I just didn't pick up on it, but... There was a lot of things they didn't explain where they made a lot of assumptions where that this was, it was very, very focused towards people who were very familiar with the DC universe and the Justice League universe and very familiar with either the comics or TV shows or previous things. It wasn't <coughs> very geared towards newer fans, <coughs> which I think made it a bit confusing for a lot of people. Uh, frankly... Especially kids who are like into the whole Justice League thing now, then the, the the TV shows and the books and whatever, and they go to see this movie, and half the time they have no idea what's happening. I mean, they just see it seems awesome, but I mean, every twelve year old I would know is gonna say the movie was awesome, but it it yeah, it just wasn't up to the standards that everyone was expecting for the most part. Um, this really should have been a flawless movie. They've had years and years to plan this, and they only decided recently to cut down 46 minutes, and that was, I think, the biggest issue for me. Uh, once again, that big issue and losing all that time to kind of... Which, I don't think it would have gone to the fight scene. No, it would have been before where it would have gone more detail in Atlantis. We might have actually been able to see Atlantis. That would have been nice, except for that kind of one kind of room where the the life box for the unity was <clears throat> i would have loved to see the the new depiction of atlantis in live action movie like that i would have loved to see that i've only seen it animated i would love to see it like that um wonder woman and i mean it's the the scenes on the mascara were they were good i i enjoyed them they were nice fight scenes. Um, I do think it was a bit demeaning, though, to the Amazons as a whole, as you, you think. I mean, they're such vicious, good fighters, but Steppenwolf absolutely just tore them the hell apart with his parademons, so... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, there were a lot of problems. <coughs> as you can see, I'm still <laughs> sick. Jesus Christ. Anyway. <coughs> Bless me. Uh, 
Um, most of my issues with this movie weren't, as I've said already in this video, with the fighting scenes at the end. The big battle with Steppenwolf and the Justice League was fantastic. It was visually appealing. I know I definitely said that quote already in this video, but it was a lot of fun to watch. It was awesome, and I really enjoyed that third of the movie, frankly. Um, but... There were a bunch of choppy scenes in the fights where it wasn't as fluid as I thought it would be. It wasn't as smooth, the transitions and the fighting. Uh, it was a bit choppy, so... I, I mean, I don't know how much you could really do about that, but... I thought it was a bit choppy. <coughs> anyway, I think the reason this movie kind of bombed a bit at the box office was the fact that it was cut short. Uh, and had to meet that two-hour mark, which I think was a big problem. Because it cut out a lot of the story, it cut out a lot of the background information that you really needed to kind of embrace the movie as a whole and kind of understand it in its scope. So, yeah, that's what I thought of Justice League. Out of 10, I give this movie a 7. It was, it was a good movie. It was good. The, the casting was spot on. The acting was good. Uh, the visual effects were awesome. The fight scenes were great. So, it was a lot of fun. It was action-packed. It was fun to watch. I enjoyed it. But there were, it could have been so much better. So, so, so much better. I know that you can say that about every movie, but this one had a lot of gaping holes in it. So it was just kind of the whole Justice League thing that kind of covered a lot of them up. So, yeah. Anyway, 7 out of 10 on Justice League. It was pretty good. Um, I do, I as I saw Thor Ragnarok a couple weeks ago, um, I did like Thor Ragnarok better just because I thought it was a better movie, frankly. But um, the movie I'm really looking forward to seeing next is Black Panther when that comes out. And Star Wars, of course. I'll be doing reviews on both of those once they happen. <coughs> and all you guys who like Star Wars, go check out my Star Wars Theory video that I made a couple weeks ago. Um, is Rey a Dooku or a descendant of Darth Revan? Anyway, that is going to be it for today, guys. Richard the Guru here is going to be signing off. And once again, I am debating going through a name change for YouTube. I just think Richard the Guru is too long and... Too many words. I was thinking in the name of a god, like from either ancient Greece or Rome or Egypt or something or ancient Japan, whatever. I thought that'd be a kind of a cool name, just kind of short, catchy, that everyone, they hear it, they know what it is. So I, I'll look into that and I'll kind of pick one that I think kind of suits my personality a little bit uh, and everything like that. So. I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Justice League. And if you haven't seen it yet, sorry for any spoilers I mentioned. I apologize. Richard the Guru for now. Peace out. Enjoy your Monday or, no, Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. And everybody have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Um, I will be uploading Pokemon video probably either tomorrow night or Thursday morning. Or maybe Friday morning, it depends. But I got to catch. I've been sick and haven't really done a lot. I spent like three days just straight sleeping where I would have been playing Pokemon and Star Wars and whatever. And once I get uh, my computer fixed, my laptop fixed, not this, this is like a someone I borrowed from, but um, I have a Surface Pro that connects to the Xbox. Once I get that fixed, then I will be able to stream uh, some stuff for you guys from Star Wars. Uh, I wanted to get good at it first off before I really stream for you guys because it, it wouldn't really look that great if I kind of just sucked at it. So, anyway. Alright guys, signing off here. Please like, please subscribe, and please comment below on what you thought. Hope you enjoy the videos. I hope you love the content I'm putting out. And I'm going to be putting out a lot more content over the next month or so. Um, we're going to have at least five or six more Pokemon videos coming out. Maybe more. Um, hopefully once my computer gets fixed, the parts should be here in a week or so. I had to get them shipped from Microsoft. Uh, the store didn't have them. So... Hopefully I'll be able to get some a couple Star Wars stuff up for you guys uh, soon. Um, and I know I haven't done my daily sports vlogs in a while. Um, I don't think I did. I haven't done one for like two or three weeks since I moved into my new place. So I'll pick that up again now, probably after Thanksgiving and the football. That's everything. Probably next week. So that's when I'm going to pick that up. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, it's I know it's only been a couple months and. I know that some people get like more views than I have in my entire YouTube short career in minutes, but 
the fact that people actually sit and watch my videos, even if it's only for a minute or two when I make videos that are like this 16, 17 minutes long, the fact that people take the time to go on YouTube and see the see my video and click on it and hope they enjoy it and at least watch it for a little bit, it, it means a lot. It means that I'm doing something that at least other people enjoy So and that I enjoy doing. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll be signing off. Richard the Guru out. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I expect everyone to gain like another pound or two from Turkey. So peace out.